Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway, race number seven on the Castrol TTX Cup Series. The Texas Hold'em 500. On the pole is, is, is Alexander Dawson in the 39 car, Ryan Cooper on the outside, row two. <clears throat> Chris Dalton and Josh Osborne, row three. Fred Christopher and... <clears throat> Jacob Rodriguez, row four, Jasmine Acosta, and Aaron Reed. And we are set to go. Every, they say everything's bigger in Texas. Maybe the racing's bigger. So we're set to go at Texas. We're going 17 laps in this race. And here we go. Alexander Dawson gets the jump on, gets the jump. Out of second turn, Dawson leads Ryan Cooper in the second position. And here comes Fred Christopher in the three car on the inside. He looks for the third spot. Here comes Ryan Cooper trying to pass Alexander Dawson. And Dawson leads the lap, but here comes Cooper. Ryan Cooper for the lead, and he's got it briefly, but here comes Fred Christopher in the three car. And he dips inside, and now he wants to lead, whoa! He sends Ryan Cooper up high, and now Fred Christopher has the lead. He's got the help of the 14 of Ken Johnson, Dougie Shears, in the 33 car. And here comes the 14 now. He wants to lead. You want where and you want unreal at Texas pole speed for this race 210 miles an hour. Ken Johnson leads the race here. Fred Christopher falls in between himself and between Ken Johnson and John Douglas, who now makes takes a who now makes a bid for the second spot, but loses there. Here comes Fred Christopher fighting back on the inside for the lead. He wants to lead back. And he has it, but for how long? Here comes John Douglas trying to the inside in a 25 car. And the leader of the race is Fred. Oh, trouble in the back. Oh, my goodness. Bad trouble down the front stretch. Matthew Rodriguez, Dougie Shears. Oh. We saw somebody spun right in the in the picture, right when Fred Christopher and John Douglas was battling. Don't know what happened. Let's look back. Let's look and replay as to what happened. That's Kendrick Walker in the five car right there. I believe the wreck happened a little bit up front here. There's Ken Johnson. Mark Matthews in the 43. And yeah, he's... Oh, yeah, Ken Johnson gets turned by the 43. Collects the 11 of Andrew Baranda. And oh, my. Yeah, Trevor Reinhardt, he gets in it. Doesn't look like there's any damage to Trevor's car. I believe Andrew Baranda, he's going to... He comes out of his crash unscathed, too. Boy, several guys had to do some heads up, do some real heads up driving here. Let's look at it from the slow mo. Again, the crash happened when. Mark Math when Mark Matthews crowded the 14. There's the, there's what happened right there. He's gonna go up the track right and into the 11 of Andrew Baranda, and then Dougie Shears nowhere to go. He gets in this crash, and several of them had to do some heads up driving right there. Several of them did a good job missing the crash. Several cars into it right there. But I don't believe there's a lot of damage to any of them, so. 
just a 14 car yeah just at a 14 and a 33 I believe so there's the standings right now Fred Christopher John Douglas your top two right now see the lights and the pace car comes off any yes it is so the race will resume here in a minute and we're back underway here at Texas Motor Speedway Fred Christopher in the three car leads. John De John Douglas in the second position. And here comes the 14 of Ken Johnson. Battered and all. He's still making a go for it. And he's going for the second spot right on the inside of John Douglas. Here's the 39 of Alexander Dawson. He's helping him. Got Matthew. Got. Look at look at him crowding the look at him slicing and dicing. Here comes Trey Campbell in the 24. He takes third, but for how long? Because here comes Ryan Cooper in the one. And we got a battle for the lead now. Here comes John Douglas inside of Fred Christopher in the three. And at the stripe, Christopher had the lead. Lead, but here comes Douglas, John Douglas on the inside in the 25. Here comes Trey Campbell in the 24. And here, and there it comes on the back stretch. Here comes Campbell, Trey Campbell on top, and he's got the preferred line on the bottom. But Douglas may have the momentum on the high side, and yes, Trey Campbell leads the lap. But here comes Kendrick Walker in the five car. Hendrick Motorsports. One, two, three, maybe four actually. Because John Douglas, and oh, we got yellow, I believe. I believe it was Matthew Haggard this time who crashed. Oh, and that crash didn't look good. Let's look as to what happened. I believe it involved a 60. Uh-huh. Chris uh, Dalton in the 42. He shoved the 60. Oh, my goodness. Richard Anderson again on his rough luck at Atlanta. And, oh, Chris Dalton. He gets into a barrel rolling rage, too. Serves him right, I believe, because, I mean, he, it looked like Dalton shoved Richard Anderson on the inside of the track. Down the position. Here's what happened again. There were four deep out of turn two between Dalton, Anderson, Johnny Gardner, and there's he right. Yeah. I mean, Dalton just drove Anderson right into the inside wall. There's Anderson. I mean, uncontrollably barrel rolling. Dalton, meanwhile, he hit. He gets hit by the six, by the thirty-two of Dylan Hughes and the six and the six car of of Matthew Haggard. Oh my! Anderson's flipping over. There's Jasmine Acosta. She gets in the crash, and and now Anderson and Dalton both. Barrel roll simultaneously, and oh, and Dalton's flip looks about like the crash that Michael McDowell had at this track. Several of them involved. Here's a, and several of them in the crash. Here's it again in replay. I believe Joshua Osborne got a 
piece of that too. Let's ride with Joshua Osborne and see what happened. I believe I, he was just him and Jasmine Acosta were both innocent victims. I believe in this crash. Here, there's Joshua Osborne. Let's ride with him and in from inside his car. Oh, he saw nothing but the... Well, he saw nothing but the bottom of the 42 car. Car, now from Jasmine Acosta's car. Oh, yeah, Josh Osborne, he saw nothing but tailpipes of that 42 car. Ugh. Not only did she hit the, not only did she hit the uh, 42 car, car's bottom end, but she also hit Josh Osborne too, I believe. It looks like her and Joshua are both making a go of it, so continue to try to make positions. So whatever. But the pace car lights are out, and Trey Campbell will lead him down in a two-lap shootout. So this is green, white, checkered. Checkered, remember, and this, and now this Texas Hold'em 500 is going to turn into the Texas Shootout 500. Here we go, two laps to go. Trey Campbell leads the field, and John Douglas in the second position. Kendrick Walker third, CJ Sorensen out to the fourth, and Fred Christopher fifth. Who's it gonna be? John Douglas gets the run on the end. Just a run out of turn two. He comes to the inside of Trey Campbell for the lead. John Douglas on the inside. Kendrick Walker, he's gonna try the inside of John Douglas. Coming to the line, white flag. Here comes Kendrick Walker on the inside of John Douglas. Here comes CJ Sorensen. They're all getting into it. It's a free for all on the final lap. And it's Sorensen out in front. Fred Christopher. He's going to try to become the first repeat winner of the year. Dylan Partee gets into this mix. Here they come. Final sprint out of turn number four. Is it the line? Fred Christopher goes to the inside, but CJ Sorensen holds him off. CJ Sorensen wins the Texas Hold'em 500. What a race! Boy. Oh my. There's the margin. Six hundredths of a second. CJ Sorensen, Fred Christopher, Dylan Petit, Robbie Boggus in fourth position. Kendrick Walker matches his car number. Ryan Cooper, Trevor Reinhardt, Stephen Weber. Trey Campbell drops to ninth. And John Douglas drops to tenth. That was how hard they were battling. That was some. That was a good race. <coughs> Excuse me. There's the rest of the finishers. There are Trey Roberts, Mike, Mark Matthews, Nick Knotts. Whew. Boy, great racing here. And there's the ones that got caught up in the crashes there. As it turned out, the Jasmine Acosta and Josh Osborne both. Were not and they were unable to continue, continue, even though it looked like they kept going, but, but, what a finish in, in this race. C.J. Sorensen wins the Texas Hold'em 500. Join us next race on the tour at Talladega Super Speedway, Talladega, Alabama, for the Aaron's 499.